Hello, and welcome to Wired, Episode 2. My name is Colette Wallace. In this episode, I will be telling you about emergency lighting, why you need it, and its uses. Emergency lighting is defined as lighting that automatically comes on when the power supply to the normal lighting provision fails. Emergency lighting is the umbrella term for two more specific types of lighting, emergency escape lighting and standby lighting. Emergency escape lighting is designed to help people leave a location safely and quickly, whereas standby lighting is in place to allow normal activities to continue when power is lost. Standby lighting is not a legal requirement, however, emergency escape lighting is, as it ensures the safety of those you are responsible for. Emergency escape lighting is then also divided into two subcategories. Escape route lighting, or lighting that will mark the escape route clearly so that it can be easily found, and open area lighting. In some countries this is also known as anti-panic lighting, lighting so that there is sufficient illumination for people to find their way to an area with a marked escape route. Emergency lights should be tested in two ways. Firstly, a soak test can be performed by a competent person. This is where the light's main supply of power is removed and it is monitored for up to three hours to ensure that it can provide uninterrupted light for this period on its own power. The building should be vacated for up to eight hours after this test in order to let the batteries in the emergency lights recharge, making the building safe to re-enter and occupy. Secondly, the responsible person who maintains the building should perform a flash test on a monthly basis to check if all lights work correctly in the event of a power failure. Usually, a dedicated key switch is installed so that a power failure can be simulated by key operation. Basically, the power is temporarily isolated to any emergency lights, allowing you to check that their battery backup keeps the lights on appropriately. If you would like any more information on emergency lighting, or any other matters relating to fire safety and escape routes, visit www.jproservices.co.uk. Come and visit our website and be safe in our hands. Music